All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. All right, first we've got our public comments. If anybody is here tonight to talk to the board about anything at all, you're welcome to come up to the podium and do so. We do not have any public hearings tonight, so anything you'd like to talk about is fine. Uh, you get five minutes to say whatever you would like. Please say your name and address clearly into the microphone just so we get it in the minutes accurately. And when you get down to your last 30 seconds, instead of interrupting you, I'll hold this card up just to let you know you're approaching your five minutes so you can wrap it up. Who would like to talk to the board about anything tonight? Yes, sir. Come on up. Good evening. I'm Charlie Zink. I live at 413 Chadwick Avenue. I still got two sinkholes on Chadwick Avenue. One's really small and one's kind of small, but they're not getting, they're not like wine. They're not getting any better with time. They're not? No. <laughs> it's Funny a nice how smooth sinkholes road. Work. It's the only two sinkholes on the whole street. Maybe you could send somebody to come take a look at them. I know them. Patrick has looked at them. Or, Rick, you have an update? Yeah, I went, uh, I'm very familiar with what's going on up there. Um, we've got a big project on that we're starting tomorrow, and that's going to run for a couple of months. And either in the meantime or after that, we're going to get to that. So it's mainly a time action issue. So you can't patch it in the meantime. It's going to be that way for several more months. in August yes sir <laughs> and next I would also I'm just wondering if the city has taken any action or made any plans to provide for the protection of the kids at the high school and the people in public housing behind the gun store on 410 Fontana Street I know you can't tell me what you've done anything but have you done anything to take precautions contacted the uh, school commission or the Craven County School Board to see if they're going to enhance the entrances or reinforce the windows or anything because that gun store right by high school is a terrible place yeah so I don't were you you were here last month or was it two yes. months ago you were here last month yes so yeah as you know unfortunately zoning wise there's nothing we can do about that gun shop being able to be there right we did have a meeting two weeks ago with our police and attorneys about several different issues revolving around that and in the exit of the meeting, our police chief was going to have some conversations with the school board, just see what they were doing. I don't know any outcome of that, but uh, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, good evening, Mayor, Commissioners, City Manager, and City Staff. I just want to thank you guys for the, the work you're doing. The last couple of months have been kind of, kind of hectic. Uh, we had a tournament in of June. A little over 5,000 people flowed through that uh, rec center over on 101. And it was good to see. We had no incidents. Everything went smooth. Everybody played together really well. And we really appreciate that. Uh, the Hampton Inn, they marked it off. The, on the right side of the Hampton Inn where the concrete, concrete is coming up, they marked it off. We really appreciate the city staff getting out there. And our grass cutters, public work employees, they're doing an outstanding job. They kept those roads clean, grass picked up, grass cut for June. July, everything looks good, looked good when we came up to the 4th. Everybody's coming into town, admiring our town. And uh, a lot of good things were said about our town and the citizens that's inside of our town. Uh, we really appreciate your leadership and the guidance that you've given us in going in the right direction with our city. And as long as we continue to go in that direction, we'll do good. The economy is not doing too well right now. Or I see uh, everybody don't want to say that magic word, recession. But I, I believe we're uh, Havoc Sports. Uh, so Lady Havoc is actually part of an organization. Uh, Havoc Sports is a registered nonprofit in the state of North Carolina. 
Um, we do have tax exemption status from the IRS as well as through the state. Uh, we went through all the, all the uh, legal matters to make that happen, to essentially get to this point, to charter teams. Um, right now, we, we started out as one team, just like anybody else, we, just, we started out as a team. But the individuals that were part of that, we envisioned something bigger and something that we, we thought from where we were from and what we've seen, that's something that would really benefit Havelock. Uh, so not only do we have just a team, we're also ready to add an additional team. On top of, we have a developmental program. Uh, so something that we haven't seen is, yes, you can join rec leagues, and that, that's, that's what you sign up for to get the games and practices. Whereas we started an actual developmental program to work on individual skills that certain individuals may need specifically. Um, as, as far as what we're trying to build here is, sir, as you mentioned, is, yes, we, we do have to pay by, by the hourly fee that's set by the city, um, and it would just be a tremendous offload from the parent. Before I jump on the, uh, the actual list, I got a couple of other. I got one other one I want to start with. Um, the Pam reminded me that I need to remind everybody the ECAF uh, fly in, family fly ins coming up. Uh, it is a free event at our Tourism and Events Center on August 12th uh, from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Cliff. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go to to the other end tonight. I'm going to start with Danny Walsh, Commissioner Walsh. Uh, I'm going to make it easy. I, I just hope that it stays really hot and we don't have a hurricane from it. Because <laughs> the changes of the weather are what usually sucks a hurricane in here. And uh, we don't need one this year. It would be very important for us not to have one that we'd like to get through and have our new bridge stay there. And Amen. <laughs> uh, I, I am blessed to, that my family's getting a little healthier, and uh, I hope all of you are too. We've lost some tremendous people. Uh, Will's grandmother-in-law is one of them this week that we lost. and uh, We're losing too many of the good ones. Uh, and we need to find some people to replace them with that can do the job here in Havelock sustain us into the future. Uh, I see some new faces that are running for commissioner and I hope that they all have fun and enjoy it and it's not as easy as you think when you get here. Uh, but it's it's a good learning process. And with that I'll end my Thank you sir. Commissioner Josh Core. I, <clears throat> I don't have too much but um, I did hear that Lee's asking for me to make some extra phone calls or something here soon. As you're busy with the audit, you won't be pestering you more. So I can yeah. do that for you. Um, the only thing I do have, uh, I just wanted to kind of briefly report back to the board from the planning board. Um, they had a discussion, and I don't recall whether or not I reported this back, but they had a discussion related to the UDO. And we are heading somewhere, but we're not sure where yet. And the only reason I say it that way is because they commissioned staff to go back and do some research on some things and uh, 